What up, guys? This is Derek Larger, and you're listening to Derek Larger Sports Talk. And today, I'll be talking to you guys about two different topics going on. The Cleveland Cavaliers with their injury report and Derek Williams stepping up. And Jimmy Garoppolo. And and whether or not he is a worthy of a first-round draft pick. Now, I will... I know there's been a lot going on in the sport world the last two or three days. I realize this, and I can't get it all into one video. But I will be continuing to talk about things that you guys want me to talk about if you leave a comment on what you want me to do. And I will talk about those. Plus, I'll be talking to some about the mock draft for NFL and the mock draft for basketball coming up here in a couple weeks as time goes along, just for some future videos. So, we're going to go into the this next topic, which is one about Kevin Love being out for six weeks because of a knee surgery that he has to have. So, a lot of people have been wondering, can the Cavs really rely on Kevin Love to be that third guy because of his injury past? I mean, he's been injured half the season so far this year, and it's been rough on the Cavs, despite winning yesterday um, against the T-Wolves. And a lot of people are bringing up again the Carmelo trade on whether or not the Cavs should get rid of Kevin Love to keep Carmelo Anthony. So, now we'll be talking about that here, and my personal opinion right now is... No, not yet, because I like Kevin Love, and I really like to see him win another ring with the Cavs. I just, I don't think that bringing Carmelo Anthony to the Cavaliers is going to fix the problem that we have. Kevin Love can rebound the ball better than Carmelo Anthony. He can score as many points as Carmelo Anthony if he wants to, but he's not as prolific of a scorer. And, you know, neither one of them has an edge defensively, honestly. Because, if anything, we do need another big man. Which is why I don't think it'd be a smart trade. Because, we. I mean, I think that if, if, if Kevin Love gets hurt again for an extended period of time, and you can't rely on him being healthy again... Then I would say do it, but I, I, it's hard to see me let go of Kevin Love so soon because he is only 28 years old, and you know I'd like to see him continue to be in a Cavalier uniform to work things out with the team. But if he continues to be injury prone, don't be surprised if David Griffin decides to get rid of him. And that brings me to my next point, and that will be about Derek Williams, who the Cavs recently acquired within the last 10 days of bringing in him to back up Kyrie Irving and the guard spot. So now the Cavs have the number one, the number two, and the number four draft pick out of the 2011 NBA draft. And I didn't know what to expect from Derek Williams so far. You know, I thought, oh, he's going to be a decent bench player. You know, it's tough for when you get passed up by so many teams when you were the number two overall pick. You would have thought, this guy is going to be put somewhere, he's going to be staying somewhere, and he's going to help a team build. <laughs> but that didn't really happen. He's never really quite been on a, on a winning team, quite like this one is. And when he got here, he said... You know, I just want to live up to the team's expectations. I want to just do what I can to help them win games because he wants to win. And so far, I've liked what I've seen. He's a hustler, and he's definitely been a defensive um, help to the Cavs on the perimeter and has found a way to score some points. Last night was his best game of the uh, so far through the 10 days that he's been with the team. Had 13 points on 5 of 7 shooting, had 6 rebounds, and had a couple assists and a couple of steals as well, especially late in the game. Had one steal that 
almost put the game away with um, the T-Wolves being down by three with just under two minutes left. And then he made a great steal and made the bucket to put the Cavs up by five with just over a minute left. This was a huge bucket and a huge steal defensively that changed the momentum of what was going on. And I, I like to say I hope the Cavs keep him. He's a great hustler. He's a guy that is great off the bench. And, you know, right now, he doesn't care what his role is. He just wants to help the team win, which I think it'd be, is great for Ty Lue because now you have that extra guy, especially with the injury report of J.R. Smith not being back for at least another month and Kevin Love not being back for another month and a half. That's the kind of guy you need. You need a hustler. You need a guy that can play at anywhere and give you that hustle. Either it's on defensively or offensively. He did a little bit of both yesterday. And that's what helped us win yesterday. LeBron certainly liked it. Ty Lue certainly liked it. Everyone certainly liked it. And I did like how Channing Fry stepped up late in the game as well. So I hope Derek Williams signs again. And I certainly hope that the Cavaliers look to build with him for the team for the time going. <laughs> now, this is for you, Trey Wurtz. We're going to smoothly go into the next topic, which is about Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, there has been a lot of rumors and trade opportunities out there for Jimmy Garoppolo to go to another team and be taken for a first-round draft pick. The New England Patriots are looking to get a first-round draft pick from a team this year for Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, there's been the, the question of, is he worth that first round or not? Me, personally, I would say no. No, because this is this just happened yesterday. This, herpin, this happened last year. Brock Osweiler, we got a bigger sample size from Brock Osweiler than Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo has thrown under 100 passes in his NFL career. And Brock Osweiler played for half a season with Peyton Manning and the Broncos. He went on to have a 4-3 and three record. And, you know, wasn't the most spectacular quarterback but he did enough to help them win a couple games along the way and keep their Super Bowl, their playoff chances alive. And you see what happened to him. He got traded to the Texans and they gave him $72 million. Overpaid, overused, overhyped. He was not worth that money. He wasn't even, he's, he was given half of what Andrew Luck's contract was and he didn't even live up to that. Okay, and he that shows right there. You cannot give somebody a worth that much, believe, who you believe to be worth that much, from a very small sample size. Yes, he went two and zero oh in the games that he played, but then got hurt in the third game, and then and then and. People th and then you have to think about the Belichick system. He's playing in the Patriots system with Bill Belichick and this New England defense. And the offense that they have put together, anyone can thrive in that system. Anyone. Anyone can thrive in that system. Now, Tom Brady's on a whole other level, but anyone can do well in that system because they're very well ran. You put him in anywhere else... He's not going to perform at the level he was playing for two games. Two games. And not to mention the two teams that he faced. One was the Dolphins. The other one was the Arizona Cardinals who struggled this year. I can't state this enough. He's. I don't think he's worth it because you didn't give him enough sample size. You didn't give him enough of anything. See... If you were giving him up for a second or third rounder, or, or yeah, second or third rounder, I don't care. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. But that first round pick, 
if a team that needs a quarterback, they would be willing to do it. Right now, the front runner for it is uh, the Chicago Bears because they're looking to get rid of Jay Cutler. They're looking to part ways with him and maybe start with Jimmy Garoppolo. But he doesn't show enough potential and he doesn't show enough of a sample size to say that he's worth a first round draft pick where you can focus on other issues where you know a kid has the ability to do that. So I get it. Jimmy Garoppolo played well. And if you want to trade him to, you know, if you want to trade to get somebody for him, go right ahead. But I don't believe he's worth a first rounder. A first rounder? No. Later on in the draft picks, a second or third rounder? Yeah, probably. But we're, uh, I, I don't think that that's really worth the time for them. So if you can, you want to disagree with me, go right ahead. Tell me otherwise. I would love to be able to talk to you guys about that as well. All right, this has been Derek Larger Sports Talk. These are the topics I have gone through with you today. If there's again, if there's anything else that you guys want me to talk about, uh, very interesting topics at all, be sure to leave a comment or let me know any way that you can. I'm Derek Larger. Until next time, peace.